control two strongholds to score. Hey everybody, Cray Spartan here again, and today I'm bringing you some gameplay on the map called Empire. You may remember this from the multiplayer beta uh, back in December. This is actually probably one of the last few maps or gameplays that I have for Halo 5, which is unfortunate because, good lord, I love that game so much. But I have a good excuse. I have a good excuse for not having a ton of gameplays because when I was playing... I was playing with friends like 90% of the time and the game was just amazing. I was playing with like Clean Up, uh, Rap Scallion, uh, I think Elite Assassin, uh, Sly Solace, uh, Modest Major jumped in there once in a while. Uh, man, we just had so much fun playing this game and that's what I want to make sure you guys really understand is I just had a blast. I, I thought this was like the most fun I've played in Halo for a long time, and that's saying something. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't get a whole lot of recording because I was just having too much fun. So, but I wanted to talk about today is the 343 Industries. Are they raising the bar for the first person shooter industry in general? And I have to say, yes, they are and they are doing it in more ways than one so I want to talk about some of the things that I've seen from the Game Informer uh, release of information that if you want to check out go check those out there's plenty of other channels out there that really focus on news and everything that comes out so check those out and get yourself uh, filled in on everything that they're doing I'm just going to be talking about some of the things that I think are the major things that I think uh, 343 is just setting themselves apart in this next generation of first-person shooters. All right, first thing is they're launching Halo 5 Guardians with 20 multiplayer maps. Count them, 20 multiplayer maps. That is practically unheard of. I don't recall any other game launched with that many. I think Halo 4 launched with 10. That's 10 maps. But I think a mass majority of these maps are going to be like this one is, uh, Empire and Eden, where one was the main map and the other one was a remix map. So it kind of has the same footprint for map-wise, but, um, but it plays completely differently. Um, just like Regret and Truth, I definitely preferred Regret because I thought that just played better. I enjoyed it more. Um, Truth was okay, but I've never really been a huge fan of Midship to begin with. But that's just my opinion on that. Um, but that is that. They're launching with the 20 maps. And now, that's not all. That is not all. They're launching, they're having free DLC 15 maps free by June of 2016. Now that, I have never heard of. I think Halo 2 kind of did it, but you had to pay for early access, which was fine at the time. But no, these are completely free. You're going to be able to download them. And the biggest reason they're saying this is because is it keeps players from splitting the, uh, the player base up. It's like those that have it, those that don't have it. This was a huge problem in Halo Reach, Halo 4, where some people, like I bought all the DLC, and not all my friends had it. And so we never got to play the DLC. It was just never happened, which is unfortunate. Now... That's not going to be an issue anymore. And the fact that it's free makes it even better. I, I just can't even believe that they're doing this. Like I said, I think 343 is raising the industry standard. Now imagine playing this, like uh, applying this same thing to other things, other games, uh, like Gears of War. Uh, you get all those DLC maps for free. And then on top of that, uh, they're going to add probably, I'm going to see custom stuff that you're going to be able to, that's what you're going to pay for. That's going to be the paid DLC is a custom game or custom skins, uh, you know, stuff that's not going to affect your gameplay, not going to affect the fun. It's just going to kind of like really personalize your Spartan or your, your COG or whatever the hell, the hell it is you're playing. Um, that's why I see this, this industry really going if they want to start copying Halo 5 which I, I really am, I'm really hoping. 
Now that is just the start of it. That is just the start of what I'm saying 343 is stepping up the industry standard. Now the biggest thing, or the next thing I'm thinking, is the campaign. I expecting a huge campaign. Uh, we're talking four player co-op where you can drop in and out with different characters. Uh, you're gonna play, yeah, I'm gonna play a, a random Spartan, no, or like in Halo 3, you spawned in as an elite, uh, and the first player was Master Chief, um, et cetera, et cetera, but no. No, that is not the case. You're going to spawn in as Buck. You're going to spawn in as um, Linda, Kelly, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And they're going to really take this campaign, I think, to the next level. And from what I saw and heard is that they're making this less of a linear campaign. They're making this more of a thing like uh, you can try to sneak in, you can go in guns blazing, you could uh, call, tell your teammates to go and jump on a turret and you know, all sorts of different things. There's going to be multiple ways to attack every situation and how you want to do it and what you do is going to make the game play differently. Even if you play as a single player versus playing as a co-op, it's probably going to play differently. You're going to have a completely new experience. You're going to enjoy that experience um, over and over again. Now, I'm a big campaign guy, big lore guy, so I'm definitely excited about this campaign. Um, like I said, I think 343 is raising the bar for everybody out there. So hopefully they're going to pay attention. The industry is going to say, you know what, we're going to have to step up our game to match up with 343 Industries and Halo 5. And that's what I'm thinking is going to happen, guys. At least I'm going to hope. Thanks for watching. This is the Crazy Spartan. I am out of here. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up.